Hillary Clinton fighting back on those questions about her health. Clinton dismissing claims by Trump and his surrogates that there's something we do not know. Trump also questioning her stamina. Hillary Clinton is 68, Donald Trump is 70. And tonight we ask ABC's David Wright what both candidates have revealed about their health. On Jimmy Kimmel, Hillary Clinton laughs off Donald Trump's attacks on her health. Are you in good health? Well, this has become one of their themes. Here, you take my, take my pulse while I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, so, uh, make sure I'm alive. Oh my now, God, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Uh, what, what can I say? Trump insists it's no joke. She also lacks the mental and physical stamina. His top advisors are sowing doubts. Go online and put down Hillary Clinton illness. Take a look at the videos for yourself. I'm not saying that, you know, she's had a stroke or anything like that, but this is not the woman that we're used to seeing that would come at you and get in your grill. Clinton dismisses it all as conspiracy theories. Back in October, the National Enquirer said I would be dead in six months. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. So with every breath I take, I feel like it's a You have a new lease on life. Yeah, a new lease on life. Uh, uh, well, um, it's funny, I don't you know, know. I don't know why they are saying this. I think, on the one hand, it's part of the wacky strategy. Here's a reality check. Trump is 70, Clinton 68. Either one would be among the oldest presidents ever elected. Both refused to release their full medical records. Last year, Clinton's campaign released a detailed two-page letter from her doctor saying she's in excellent physical condition and fit to serve as president of the United States. It notes that in 2012, Clinton did suffer a concussion after fainting. Weeks later, she claimed to have fully recovered, but reporters noticed she wore special glasses. Her aides then explained they were for lingering issues stemming from the concussion. The only information Trump has released about his health is a four-paragraph letter from his gastroenterologist describing the billionaire's test results as astonishingly excellent, adding that Trump would be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. Today, Clinton was at a Hollywood fundraiser, posing in a photo booth with host Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel, now out to prove she's ready for the fight. Can you open this jar of pickles? This has not been tampered with. This is... <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. That was Hillary Clinton's late night answer to questions about her health. David Wright with us live tonight. And is there any response from the Clinton team tonight about that new headline involving visitors to the State Department while Hillary was Secretary of State? David, the Clinton campaign is dismissing that report, saying the story relies on utterly flawed data cherry-picked to give a distorted portrayal. They've been characterizing the work of the Clinton Foundation as noble, doing good in the world, saying that uh, Trump's businesses, by contrast, only enrich himself. David? David Wright with us again tonight. David, thank you.